What's up guys, Solar here from Pixie Tuts. Today I have for you guys um, how to actually get um, uh, an Xbox controller um, to work on your computer. It's a very widely um, you know, tutor uh, idea for tutorials. It's been used quite a lot on YouTube. Um, just I'm just going to do a much more easier version if you guys actually have not gotten yet. But mostly you guys can just search it up online um, or just continue watching this video. So anyway, um, you're going to need an, obviously an Xbox controller. Um, I just purchased this one and uh, it is, I don't know, it cost me like 15 bucks uh, and it is genuine and it does have the Xbox little emblem on top. Uh, here's a battery pack for it, you obviously need the battery pack and what, also you, what you're also going to need is two things, um, two ways you guys can get this thing to work to your computer. This is of course the wireless one, the plug and charge, uh, play and charge uh, cable will not work because um, that thing only sounds power not data. Um, You'll need a Bluetooth dongle on your computer, whether it's built in or you buy it um, online. Uh, of course, that method's unsupported, but anyway, uh, it does emit somewhat of a Bluetooth frequency, so you can uh, possibly pick it up. Sometimes you don't always pick it up. Uh, when you pick it up, you can just use it as a standard uh, gaming device and use it and then use the program on the computer. But I highly recommend you guys go out and purchase a Microsoft, a uh, wireless receiver which is designed for windows so anyway once you're going to get that there uh, get this thing in there. okay so what we're going to do is i'm going to take this okay if i have it in correctly and flip this over and i'm going to put this in all the way around it might be easier there we go and I'm going to just show both of these together. I'm going to hold this down. You'll see that turn on. And you get that one. So you you know that you're connected. So we're good. Now we're going to go up here to the computer. And we're looking at a program called XPatter. And this is a very popular program. Um, basically, once you connect it, you're going to get uh, your controller. Um, and let me press the keys here. You guys can see. I press the keys, the according ones glow. Even the analog works, which controls my mouse. Okay, so basically, how this works is you should click that little icon over here, and we're gonna go to new, and then we're just gonna click save. Alright, so this screen will pop up. We're gonna go to the bottom left, and this is different versions. Maybe we'll go across, just go to buttons. And then, uh, once you click something on your controller, for example, let's say the Y key, uh, the Y key, if I press it, that button will show up. And if I press the other ones accordingly, it will show up. And if you want to add, uh, a D-pad, you just click D-pad there and enable it. And you can just press the D-pad, which is the, the gray one right there. The same thing will work for analog sticks, you just have to go down to, uh, sticks right there. Um, and once that's done, um, everything will be set. And once you're gonna go up to this screen, and you can actually select each dot right here, and select what you would like it to be. Um, I have a uh, profile already created called my controller. Press OK, and there we go. And I have everything mapped up, ready to go. Uh, if you guys would like this uh, profile, just um, uh, message me. And of course, be subscribed. This is Slog here from Pix Tuts. How to get your Xbox 360 controller to play games. Uh, demoing, um, just uh, visit uh, the link on your uh, screen and visit me playing uh, the Minecraft with the Xbox 360 controller. This is Slog here from Pix Tuts. Peace out, guys.